Hello everyone on the Crocoblock channel. This is Marie and today I will show you how to show products in a table using our new plugin Jet Product Table. With this plugin you can easily add the content from the products, style and even filters in just a few clicks. Ensure you have the WooCommerce plugin installed and products created. Also, the Jet Product Table plugin is active. We will be pleased if you subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell to follow our updates. If you are not familiar with this plugin, I recommend you to watch a video with a detailed overview of each option. You can find the link to it in the description. And let's get started. In order to create a table, go to WooCommerce Settings Product Table tab. On this page, you will see five sections – Columns, Settings, Filters, Integration and Design. Let's go through each of them one by one. In the Columns section, we choose what content we want to show in the table. By default, there are six columns added here. You can delete them and add the necessary ones. To add new columns, click on the Select Column field and the list of available fields will open. Also, each column can be edited or deleted. To delete it, confirm your action in the pop-up. I want to remove the product ID and SKU columns. Also, I want to change the button column. By this button, I want the user to be able to select a variation and add it to the cart, as well as type the quantity. Of the new columns, I want to add a category. Don't forget to hit the Add column button so it will be added. As well as, let's add the stock status and make it sortable. Now, using drag and drop option, change the order of columns. And that's it for this section. Save the settings and go to the next step – Settings. Here, we can choose the direction of the table to horizontal or vertical, as well as enable or disable the header and footer or make sticky header. Also, choose the layout for the mobile and customize pagination. To see the behavior of each option, I want to remind you that we have a detailed overview of each setting. Let's move on to the next step – Filters. With this table, you can use custom filters that you created in JetSmart Filter. This plugin adds three filters – by taxonomy, attributes and search. To set up the filter, expand it and select the needed taxonomy from the drop-down. Also, you can enable the counter or make the filter hierarchical. The next filter is Search. For this filter, you can enable Search on Typing or clicking on the Search button. To add more filters, click on the drop-down, select the filter and hit the Add Filter button. The next step is Integration. Here, you can enable the table for certain pages by default. So, if you have a product grid on a page, when you enable this toggle, it will be replaced by a table. You can also choose different presets, ready-made tables with different settings. And the last section is the style settings. Here, we can customize different style for header, body and distance for the filters. Great! The last step is to add the table on the front end. This table can be added in different ways. 
It can be shown by default instead of the product grid widget on WooCommerce pages if you enable integration. Or you can generate the shortcode. In the pop-up, you can set up the query to sort products and also customize each setting separately. Also, you can add the table using a widget. Let's follow this way. Open the page in the editor and search for the product table widget. This widget will use your last setup in the product table settings. To change it, you can select the preset or set up the table as in the widget we added the same settings. Here you can set up the query, add columns, settings and filters manually. For example, if we open the columns tab, you may see the toggle here. If this toggle is disabled, the table will be converted to the default set of columns. Here you can add in new columns, delete existing ones or move them. The settings can be done for each tab except for the style settings. Also, if you are using a Gutenberg editor, you can use the same block. And you can also change the table settings in the pop-up. Done! Now, on the front end, we have a table with products that we created in just a couple of clicks. You may see different colors for the links and static text. For example, the product title redirects to a single product page. Also, right in the table, the user can select the variation and add to the cart. After adding it, the button will be green, and the view cart button will appear. Now, let's check how the filters work. Here, I have the filter by taxonomy and search filter by title. Also, the pagination works well. This is the end of our tutorial. Share your impressions about the plugin in the comments. Also, give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the new video. Cheers!